This fight goes down in the featherweight division for the featherweight title at UFC 308. You got Ilya Topuria, the current champ at 15-0, taking on the contender, Max Holloway, who's also the former champ. And we're going to be with you to this fight ends. This is the full fight reaction. Both guys, well, Max Holloway's been introduced. Ilya Topuria's getting introduced now. So we're about 45 seconds away uh, from this fight starting. So now Ilya Topuria is introduced, and we're getting ready to rumble. Max Holloway, four inches taller at 5'11". He didn't say nothing in the way and stare down. Didn't say a word. Just sat there and listened to Ilya Topuria talk. And here we go. Both guys touch gloves, and we're on. We're about to, you know, this thing's about to go down, baby. Fans on their feet. They're going crazy. And we predicted Max to win. We got to go with the American, right? But these guys uh, from Georgia, from Dagestan, from the UAE, these guys are very, very tough. Russia. And here we go. To, and they're not even going to start yet. They're going to talk trash. Ilya Tapuria stands in the center of the octagon and says, come right here. And Max Holloway says, no, you come right here. That lasted about 10 seconds. Interesting. But this fight is underway. And Max Holloway lands the first leg kick. Crouch and Ilya. So, you know, in America, you get a Max Holloway fight, and the crowd's going to be 90% Max Holloway. You go across seas, and now all of a sudden, Max Holloway is the enemy. How can he perform in this type of setting? <clears throat> and Max Holloway's been great for multiple reasons. He can slow you down in terms of your numbers. Right, or he can just go off and outstrike you with 400 significant strikes in a fight, as we've seen against Calvin Cater. So we'll see what Max Holloway wants to do here. Max Holloway misses on a big left, and Tapuria being very patient here early on as he lands a big right. Max Holloway gets out of dodge. Now big right by Tapuria. Max Holloway. Pushes them back, and they meet in the center of the octagon. Tapuria lands it right to the body. And now Tapuria shoots him for the takedown. Look at this. Picks Max up and takes him down. The crowd's loving it. Oh, my goodness. And a little concern on Holloway's face. And another takedown as Max gets up. Tapuria picks him up, takes him back down. Max Holloway working to his feet. And what a finish this would be. If Ilio Tapuria could finish, you know, get a finish via KO or sub against a, a Max Holloway, that would, you know, make him the undisputed champ of this division for sure in terms of, uh, you know, who can actually contend with him. Max Holloway comes in, takes a right. Max Holloway, no stranger to an all-out five-round battle as he lands a left as Tapuria comes in. So Tapuria realizes he got to be patient. Max Holloway's going to land strikes, right? He's up 11 to 6 right now in significant strikes, 7 to 4 in head strikes. Now, a lead leg kick by Max Holloway. And now Topuria lands a big right and a left. And now Max is stuck in the phone booth. He gets out of there. Smart. Smart. You know, Topuria's going to have the advantage. In the phone booth, Max Holloway is going to have the advantage at distance. Nice leg kick by Topuri. Almost sweeps uh, Holloway off his feet. Let's go, Max. What you got, baby? Max Holloway, no stranger to being the enemy, right? When he fought uh, the Korean zombie overseas. Crowd fully in support of Korean zombie. And they had a great strike in battle, uh, which Max Holloway... Ended up getting the finish. So he's no stranger to the situation. He's he's locked in. He's in the zone. And he's going to have to be to win this fight. Now these guys are in the phone booth again. And they get out of there. And Max is doing a great job with the jab at distance. Landing the jab, then the right. Nice combination. Throws the big right, misses. Come on, Max. Ooh, ooh. 
you know, and you look at, okay, if Tapuria gets the win here, he definitely solidifies himself at the top. I mean, he's a champ, right? But if Max Holloway gets the win, he becomes a double legend. I mean, he's a legend for the Justin Gaethje finish with one second left in a 25-minute fight. He comes back and wins the featherweight title. People are going to lose their minds, including myself. Because there's some doubt here, especially what we've seen Tupuria do uh, against the competition. And then we all know Max wants his belt back more than anything after losing it to Volkanovski, never able to reclaim it. Those were some good fights. And Volk not wanting to fight Max Holloway for what, the fourth time, I think? Didn't want to do it. But now, if Max wins, he's going to have to. Now Max falls, slips. Topuria takes the back. Luckily, there's 10 seconds left here. And Max just has to run out the clock. But he's up 31 to 20 in significant strikes. Head strikes 20 to 12. So Max Holloway is going to win the first round. And all that happened was he just slipped. He didn't get hit. He just slipped here at the end of the round. So both guys going to head back to the corner. And, you know, what do you what do you tell him now? You got to tell Topuria to pick up the pace, right? You got to pick up the pace. Yeah. Max Holloway is going to keep going. Max Holloway is going to keep going. So looking at the replays, you see the takedown ability from Topuria, but credit Max Holloway uh, for getting back up. Credit him uh, for getting out of those takedowns. And then looking really good throughout the round in terms of keeping distance, which is where Max Holloway wants to be. This is where he can win the fight, is at distance. He's not going to win the fight in the clinches, right? But Max Holloway looking good here in the opening round. Round two's underway. Featherweight title on the line. And, you know, as much as we want to see a finish, I would say a five-round fight uh, favors Max Holloway. Doesn't mean he's going to win, but he's got much better chance to win than if you close your eyes and say, this fight's going to be a finish, because then you believe probably Topuri is going to get the finish. So the longer it goes, the better for Max Holloway, especially when you come out and win the first round. So I think Max in his mind knows right now this is his best opportunity in a long time to get the belt back. And Topuri is not invincible. That's what we're learning. Max landing the left, pushes back Topuri. Topuri is trying to get inside, right? But when he does so, he's got to take punches. Nice combo there by Topuria. Just, you know, big punches, but really just catching Holloway at the end of the punch. So more or less taps. Now another combination by Topuria. Max in a little bit of trouble here. He slides out. 340 left in round two. Topuria beginning to pick it up. <clears throat> Let's go, Max. Dance with him, Max. Keep him at distance, Max. Topuri starting to land now. He's starting to utilize the leg kicks. And where's that jab? Where's that jab? Yeah, Max Holloway breathing hard. I mean, you don't see that from Max. The guy's got a tremendous gas tank. But he had to utilize a lot of energy defending the takedowns in round one. He takes a big left there. And Holloway slides out. Yeah, and they're saying Max has never been KO'd. That's what I thought. Holloway takes a left, now a right. Topuri beginning to pick it up. Look out. A little concern on Max Holloway's face. Topuri lands another combination left-right. As he's starting to feel it. Topuri lands a big right, and he's starting to land now. We know how, Matt, how tough Max is. How long can he take this for? 
as both guys continue to exchange. 215 left in round two. And it's kind of interesting. The octagon is darker than I've ever seen it before. It's almost like it's an outside fight at nighttime. That's kind of what it looks like. It's not as bright as it normally is. It's kind of an interesting setting here in Abu Dhabi. It's so dark that you can't see the crowd at all. And so Purry looking much better in this round for sure. Picking up the pace. Of course, Max Holloway isn't doing bad. He's still keeping his distance most of the time. So Puri's starting to get off a little bit more in the combinations. So puri has got to get inside, though. And you would think that would be a little easier as the fight goes on, which is already starting to happen. Oh, big right by Holloway. Okay. Puri's saying, come on, let's go. Puri lands a right. Both guys are already looking a little slower. I mean, both of them. <clears throat> We're only around two. So this fight now, as it's clear, it's not one-sided like I think people thought it would be, is going to come down to sure will. And to me, when you're talking about will and heart, that's got to give the edge to Max Holloway. Oof. Both guys trading left hands. go Max there you go get that jab back at least trying to work that leg kick but he's under duress with the jab for sure and the lead leg kicks 68 to 50 in significant strikes so Holloway starting to pull away even more in this round and very well could be up 2-0 but it's a very close round it could be 1-1 final 15 seconds there's a tap and the crowd back to his feet Holloway spinning back kick to Purry just kind of look at him like, what was that? Oh, baby, Max Holloway is in this fight after two rounds. Max Holloway is in this fight. I, I couldn't be happier if both Max Holloway and Hamza get the wins today. I couldn't be happier, i tell you right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So after two rounds, 72 to 52 Holloway in significant strikes, 46 to 33 in head strikes. And breathing a little bit hard, a little hard in the in the uh, corner, but not too bad. And suddenly those live odds have almost broke even now. Boom. We're getting a look in slow motion here and both guys just connected, man. It's starting to be an all out battle. And again, this favors Max Holloway because the mystique coming into this fight is that Topuri just overpowers people. Like he did against Volkanovski and just finds ways to finish people by overpowering them, taking them to the ground, grinding it out. He's not able to do that against Holloway who's shown that even though he can be taken down, which it looked like early was going to be at will, but he's shown that he can get out of it. Round three is underway. Nice left open up the round for Max. Ooh, nice body shot by Topuria. Ooh, Max coming in with a nice combo. Let's go, Max. Get that jab back. Max is letting loose a little bit here. Which could be good or bad, but it just seems like Max is starting to get more confidence. Both guys trading at this point. Nice lead leg by Max. He does it again. Under four minutes left in round three. Ooh. Come on. Oh, big right by Topuria. That changes everything. And Max is in a little bit of trouble now. And man, he caught him. Max Holloway slides out. And that definitely woke up Max, if you understand what I'm saying. Max Holloway moving slow now. 
Oh, down goes Max. Oh, no, and that's it. Topuria gets the finish by KO. And Max Holloway is finished. First time in his career. And you hate to see that for Max Holloway. And, you know, he's fine, but he just can't believe it. And Ilya Topuria caught him. Volkanovski's like, whoa. Holy cow. Ilya Topuria finishes Max Holloway. His first finish in his career off of the big finish over Justin Gaethje. That's huge for Ilya Topuria. And uh, it puts him on a way different level now. If he already wasn't on that level. He's going to move to 16-0. He's sitting atop the octagon. The crowd's going crazy. They're loving it. And Ilya Topuria will retain the featherweight title in dramatic fashion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So that'll do it here at UFC 308.